Welcome to Forestry Insight, your window into the world's most powerful industrial processes. Behind global commerce, one silent hero moves billions of tons of goods every year, the wooden pallet. But how do we turn rough, inconsistent tree trunks into millions of strong plays? Uniform boards, today, we follow that journey from super pine forests To understand lumber, we start in the forest. In the 1800s, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia were global lumber giants until forests were cut faster than they could regrow. But Americans didn't wait 60 years for nature to recover. They accelerated it with science. By studying genetics, wood density, and disease resistance, Scientists created a true athlete of the forest, the Loblolly Super Pine, 40% faster growth, harvestable in 25, 30 years instead of 50, 60. Owned by Weyerhaeuser, founded in 1900 and once known as the Timber King, is fire and castry. Magnolia Mill is a modern production powerhouse. This single facility produces enough lumber for 40 new homes every day, around 200. 000 board feet. The log yard. Southern Pine logs up to 40 feet long and 24 inches wide arrive in towering piles. GPS and scanners classify them by size and species. Logs enter the primary breakdown line and meet the twin band head rig. Two massive blades, 12 feet long, slice through 24 inch logs like butter, spinning faster than the human eye can track. This capability took over a century to perfect One thousand eight hundred and eight. William Newberry proposes the first band saw design. Early versions fail too dangerous, too fragile. Decades later, refined steel transforms the concept into a reliable tool. Engineers refine tensioning, wheel design, vibration control, speed.
It's like having an invisible master craftsman guiding every cut, the squared off logs, or cans. Move to the gang saw. Here, one pass produces multiple boards, a tenfold boost in productivity. The edger removes excess material and creates perfectly parallel faces. Magnolia wastes nothing. Large chips sent to paper mills for paper. Cardboard. Packaging. Fines and sawdust compressed into biomass fuel pellets. Bark used for landscaping and playground surfaces. Nearly 100% utilization. A circular system. Tree mill product energy back to nature. Boards are stacked with spacer stickers and moved into industrial kilns. Moisture is reduced to 10-15%, the sweet spot for stability and durability. Too wet warping, too dry, brittleness, the kiln locks in structural integrity. Leaving the kiln, lumber enters the planing line. High-speed knives plane all four sides to smooth surfaces and exact dimensions. Robots stack the boards. Steel strapping secures each bundle. Labels show. Batch, number, grade, production date, destination. Every bundle is digitally traceable. From forest to saw line to kiln,
Our journey moves northwest to the land of Douglas fir forests. Here, a new chapter begins, engineered wood. If magnolia represents traditional sawmilling, then Boise Cascade represents reinvention. After World War II, Construction demanded lighter materials, stronger spans, more efficient resource use. Engineers realized strength isn't only in the material, it's in its structure. Inspired by steel beams, it uses LVL flanges, top and bottom load-bearing members. An OSB web, thin but strong central layer, half the weight of solid lumber, up to 50% stronger, and uses wood fibers far more efficiently. How an eye joist is made, paper-thin wood sheets enter recirculating dryers at 200 degrees Celsius, leaving with just a 6% moisture. Grooves are cut for the OSB web. Stacked with alternating grain directions and hot pressed into a solid block at 170 degrees Celsius. Beams are cut to standard lengths and scanned with ultrasonic sensors for hidden defects. Finished joists are moisture sealed. labeled, and palletized. Boise Cascade's philosophy, wood is good enough, our job is to make it smarter, is Every log that enters these machines carried decades of wind, rain, and sunlight. Every board that leaves will carry human skill, engineering precision, and the legacy of a craft perfected over generations. In places like this, wood is more than a material. It's a bridge between forest and civilization shaped by nature, refined by machines, and trusted by the world. If you want to keep exploring the hidden power behind forestry, 
timber engineering, and the factories that turn raw trees into the structures we live our lives in. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Forestry Insight. We'll see you in the next story, where the forest meets the future. Now why, in Razan Eri was his Ombre Sender Jenner 10, and back to him, in the Maze of Wands.